Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs, and welcome back to another video. So hopefully you guys have noticed uh, I got a new mic, so hopefully it sounds better than than uh, what I was making videos with before, which was just my built-in mic. But yeah, um, so what I'm gonna be making a tutorial on today is basically how to do this paper effect. Now just let me zoom in. So yeah, as you can see, um. It's basically like the text and your and the intervention or whatever with uh, outline of paper and and it has tape holding it all down. So th so this effect is used by a lot of people now and it looks very nice. So I thought I'd just do a tutorial on it. So basically, what you're gonna need is, need is you're gonna need a uh, well you're gonna need a white piece of paper like this. So I'll be including all this stuff in the everything you'll need and I used in here in the description so you guys can just download it or save it or whatever and yeah so let's get started so first of all I'm gonna be using uh, the font slant because uh, I like it and I've seen other people use it with this effect and it looks very nice actually so yeah and obviously you could have what whatever color you want but okay well I'll write sunny actually I'll just write slant yeah with a Z cuz I'm OG like that but either way yeah so as you can see uh, I wrote it now just select like the piece of paper wherever you want it so just drag your thing onto there now what you want to do is you want to go on to your magic wand tool which you could do by by going into your third one down you have your tool right clicking and and not the quick selection you want to go to magic wand then you want to hold down shift and select each letter Make sure you're clicking on the letter and not the paper. And as you can see, once uh, once you have them all selected, you want to go over to Select, Modify, Expand, and you want to expand it by 20 pixels because that's a that, that that's a good uh, thing to expand it by. Because as you can see, it it kind of well it does expand a lot, but it it's not too much and it's not too less that you can see it. And I think 20 is just a good number when I was oops when I was doing this and now what you want to do is basically you want to merge your text with the background layer which you can do by obviously selecting them both by holding down shift and then going right click merge and and what you want to do now is as while this is selected you want to go control X which is to cut then you want to go over to wherever you want to put it which is right here in this case and as you can see um, just let me zoom into that for a sec. Um, yeah, the, there's a paper outline around the text. It looks very sick. And obviously, if you wanted, you could go ahead, add a stroke, depending on if you want one. You know, you could adjust this all. You could also add a drop shadow, which doesn't look half bad. You could add outer glow. You could just add whatever you want. And yeah, it just all adds to the effect. But obviously, I wouldn't recommend putting like bevel and boss on this because. Well, I, yeah, as you, well, I, I wouldn't even put really uh, stroke around it because I don't really like how it looks right now. Like may, maybe some drop shadow is all right, but I I, I don't really want to put the whole stroke. But yeah, that's just something that I was just like showing you guys that you could put because I've seen people do that too before. Oh, we'll, we'll skip to the next step. Well, yeah. So let's just say you guys want to put uh like like this cod picture of this guy which I'll also include and, and as you can see when you try to select them it doesn't work so so wait a second I'm just gonna take him over to the paper uh, he's very big so I'm gonna resize him that's what she said um, uh, so yeah so as you can see I dragged it to a proper place where I want it and now if I if I try to select it as we did with the text it doesn't really work and it kind of looks like it selects like only half of it and like retarded parts so what you want to do is you want to is instead of clicking on the person you want to click outside him and it, and it outlines him properly how you want it but but, but but like what you really want to do is you want to go right click select inverse and now it's selected around him and now basically just do what we did with the text you want to hold shift uh, select them both layers go merge then just control X cut uh, go over to your wherever you're gonna paste it oops oh my god my bad I'm a retard 
Uh, I skipped a step. Okay, well, as you can see, I control z it, and which is undo if you guys didn't know. And yeah, I got this selected still. They're not merged. And I forgot you want to go over to select, modify, expand, 20 pixels. Then you want to merge it. Um, just give me a second. And then you want to cut it. So yeah, sorry for that minor mistake right there. But as you can see, I fixed that in like what a second. But yeah, and there you go. Um, that's basically the paper effect. And now for the tape, which is very easy also, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. So so you just want to select a rectangular shape uh, that you think would be good for tape. So I think that would be good. Now I'm just gonna kind of let's go fill screen. That's how I like it. Um, yeah. So as you can see, uh, it's a fairly big piece of tape. And then you want to go over to your paint bucket tool while having this still selected. Oh yeah, by the way, do this on a new layer and make sure the layers on top of uh, like the things you want the tape to go on. And basically for the color, don't make it a white completely. Make it uh, white with a tint of yellow just because it looks better, I would say. And yeah, and as you can see, there you got the tape. Now, now what you want to do to get the edges is you want to go over to your brushes and this is a stock photoshop brush it's a star and i would say make the make it uh... thirty five px is pretty good i would say and then just make sure uh... you don't have scattering or anything on just just a normal brush uh... i mean i mean the eraser brush but yeah and then just go along the sides cut it off wait kinda of failed there just cut it off like that um, just go over it again I recommend doing it like twice maybe even three times if you wanted just so you could get rid of it all so as you can see that looks very nice and and the edges actually look like it was like cut off with the with the tape cutter thingies well with a little knife thing on the edge usually of the tape rollers but either way now you want to go control T transform and just simply place the tape wherever you want and you could leave it like this but as you can see you can't really see what's under there so, so, so what I like to do is put this down to 75%. So, it's, it's, so the tape is still over it and still kind of, and you can still kind of see that the tape is over it, but it's transparent and it still looks really nice. And then just simply duplicate the layer as many times as you want, as many pieces of tape as you want. Uh, just transform it, uh, meaning just like rotate it or whatever you want. And yeah, just put it wherever you want let's just say you want to uh, tape this sniper guy or the other part of this text you could do whatever and yeah so it's it's a very nice effect and, and it's a change from all the flares and stuff but I personally I, I'm not a big big fan of this but it doesn't look half bad and it's just something new so yeah hopefully this tutorial helped you guys if it did please leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and yeah remember all this stuff all the stuff I used in this is gonna be in the download uh, link below well yeah I'm gonna have download links in the description and yeah guys so if you want me to make a tutorial on anything else just leave it in the comment section below and tell me how my mic was in this video so peace out guys